In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to place an option row order in the Interactive Brokers Trading Platform. I will also show you how we place limit orders as soon as we enter an option position so the position will close out if it comes down to that price. And at the end, I'm going to show you a simple way to place a multiple four-leg order all as one order. You've been asking for it. Thank you for your patience. Here it is. Here you see my Interactive Brokers Trading Platform. Let's focus on the Hormel ticker symbol HRL put options that we sold last week on Friday. Let's say that we want to place an order to roll this position out. There are two ways to do this. The first way is actually not the easiest way to do it, but let me just show you so that you have an alternative to my favorite way I'm going to show you in just a minute. If you go to the top left and click New Window, you can then scroll down to the Advanced Option Tools and select Roll Over Options. In this area, you actually can place roll orders on every option position you have, or you can screen it by specific ticker symbols. Here you see that as soon as we type in the H, the Hormel option pulls up. If we wanted to roll it, then we would just click this button, and as you can see, all the various choices for expiration date and strike prices populate. Since we do like to roll short options out one month, we can switch it to October. And now you see the strike prices that we have selected and how much those options are selling for. You can then narrow down your selection. For example, if I wanted to roll out with the same strike price, $47, we can select just that one strike price. One nice thing I like about looking at rolling over options from this window is that in the middle where it says in the money, you see that it tells you how much this option is in the money right now. However, this to me is not the easiest way to place a roll or closeout order on your option position. Positions. Let's go back to the main window and I'll show you how I place my roll and close out orders. If you go to the option that you want to close out or roll and right click, notice that you have several choices including buy, sell, close, and roll. Let's place a roll order first. So we left click roll and now you see some of the choices we have to roll this option out to. Again, we like to roll them out approximately 30 days to the next month. So we'll select the third Friday of October, which is October 15th expiration. I will also peek at the December 17th options just to see what they're going for. Now you see the strike prices. If you have multiple strike prices checked and don't want to uncheck each one of them individually, at the very top, you can click the select all box and just choose the strike prices that you want to show up on your screen. I'll choose the 47 and also choose the 46 strike prices. Then if you haven't already done so, you can review the pricing on each one of these options all on one screen here, so you don't have to click back and forth between expiration dates. Once we're ready to place an order like this, we've pretty much done all of our research and we're ready just to go ahead and place that trade. However, if you wanted to compare the prices of the various strikes and expiration time periods, this is a nice screen to do that on. So we selected the October 15th, $47 put option to roll our September 17th, $47 put option out to. Once you select that by left clicking, the roll builder pops up. We can confirm that everything looks right, including that we're rolling our entire position, which is six contracts, and then also also set the limit price we want this order to be filled at. Just for kicks, let's say that we want this order filled at $1.10 per share. Since there's a ton of time value left in this position right now, we know this order will not get filled tomorrow. So we'll just set the time frame GTC, which stands for good till canceled. If everything looks good, you just hit the submit button. This next screen is just a review of your order. I think it's always a really good idea to review your order before placing it to minimize any possible mistakes. I mean, none of us are perfect, right? So we're buying to close six Hormel September 17th $47 put options and simultaneously selling to open six Hormel October 15th $47 put options. We want this order sitting out there good till canceled and it will not get filled unless we get our limit price of at least $1.10 per share or better. So our net credit before commission will be about $660 total for this entire position. At the bottom right, I like that Interactive Brokers actually shows you the change this order will have on your margin requirement. If everything then looks good, then you click the override and transmit button. I'm filming this video during non-market hours, so as you can see here, this order has been transmitted but not acknowledged yet. When the market opens tomorrow, it'll then transmit. If there's a way that you like to place roll orders other than the two that I just showed you, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. What about if we just wanted to set a limit price to close the position out anytime before expiration if this Hormel option dropped in price? How we go about doing that? Here we go back to our main screen that has all of our positions on it. Right click on the Hormel position and this time choose the blue close button. That option has now populated in the order entry section and we see that everything looks correct. So now we just choose the limit price that we want this order to get filled at in order to close the position out. Again, it's during non-market hours, so the spread is extremely wide. But if we were doing this during the market hours, the spread would be a lot narrower. So let's just say that we want to set the limit price at 20 cents per share. Since we know this order is not going to be filled when the market opens tomorrow, we'll just select GTC good till canceled. I want it to sit out there until either expiration or until this order fills. Now we just hit submit and we can review our order. 
everything looks good. Here we have six contracts of Hormel, good to cancel for 20 cents per share. So our cost is gonna be about $120. Now we'll just click the override and transmit button. While I'm thinking about it, I know somebody had a question on my videos last week and they asked how they could go about seeing a chart of an options pricing history. Here you see that we have our charts linked to whatever we click on, whether it's a stock or an option. So when we click on anything, the charts populate with the history of that financial instrument. Normally, if it's a stock that we're looking at, on the far right, it'll be the weekly chart. In the middle section, the daily chart. On the left section, it'll be the hourly and 15-minute charts. But since we have clicked the Hormel September 17th $47 put option, that chart does not trade for nearly as long as the stock has, so the two right charts are automatically set to the 8-hour candlestick, and the two left ones are the hourly and 15-minute charts. So you can see here that when the market closed Friday afternoon, this option was trading for around $1.45 per share. It recently traded as high as $2 per share and as low as $1 per share. Now let's say that you didn't necessarily want to close this order out or place a limit order right now. Rather, you wanted to receive an alert when the price of this option reached a certain level and that would trigger you to review this position. How could you set that alert? One way to do that is to go back to the option, right click on it, and then go all the way to the far right where you see the bell and left click. Then select create a new alert. I like to pick the last field price or the middle of the bid and ask. I especially like to do this with options since the spread between bid and ask, it can be pretty wide. Choose less than or equal to, and then the price you want to receive an alert at when the options value reaches that level or lower. Under create condition, I always just leave it as price and click next. Then review everything and click finish. At that point, you decide whether you want there to be an audio alert and you can pick which sound you want. Or if you're like me, I don't like to hear a bunch of alarms going off. I like to keep things quiet so my brain can think. So I pick no audio alert. If you choose that and click activate, then if your trader workstation is open, a box will pop up alerting you that one of your positions has reached the set alert level. Next, let me show you how to place a roll and limit order as well as an alert for a covered call position. By the way, if that was really useful what I just shared with you, then I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And thank you so much for doing that. Here you see our current covered call position in Pinnacle West, ticker symbol PNW. Let's say that we wanted to close a short call option that we've sold out. We could do it from this screen, but let's just go back to our main screen where all of our positions are reflected. Again, right click on the option, select close, pick the limit price that we want the order filled at, and let's say that we want this to hopefully be filled today. I know several of you have asked how I get paid a commission to do a trade instead of having to pay a commission. So as you can see here, we closed out a bunch of positions on Friday, expiration day. We are actually paid commission for over a third of those trade orders that we did because we were signed up as a market maker. And we placed the orders we selected as adapted. And then we went to advanced here, and that lined us up to possibly serve as a market maker and actually be paid a small commission instead of having to pay a commission for doing that trade. Now we just need to make sure that everything is correct. We're doing a limit order and routing it through the smart system. Time and force is a day, and a limit price is set at 35 cents per share. So everything looks good, and so we just hit the transmit button. If instead we wanted to place a good till canceled order, then we do the same thing. We go back to options, right click, choose a limit price, change the time and force to GTC, good till canceled, and then hit transmit. Again, I always like to confirm that everything is correct and we have chosen the right option. So typically I like to slide it right under my position just to make sure that everything lines up before I hit override and transmit. But what if we have a really complex order? Let's say that we have an order that has four legs we're trying to get filled. Let me show you the simplest way I found to place a multiple leg order. Recently, we placed a three leg order in Amgen, ticker symbol AMGN. But for the sake of making this a little more complicated, let me show you how we would go about placing a four leg order to be filled as one order. Let's go back to our trader workstation and choose a screen where all of our stocks have their own tab and their corresponding options. We will go to our Amgen tab and select the strategy builder tab. You then select add leg, and one way you can pick your leg is by selecting down in the lower section the option that you want to buy or sell. Here our first leg will be the October 15th, 220 put option. We're going to sell that one. We have another leg to sell, and here you see the other way you can select the option that you want to buy or sell is just by simply going through and filling out the various drop down menus. We'll add a third leg, and this time we're going to buy a call option to cover the 245 call option that we're selling to turn this portion of the overall position into a bearish credit call spread. Finally, just to make this as complicated as possible, we add a fourth leg. And notice that it doesn't show up because we don't have enough room here on the screen. So what I need to do here is grab the line here and move it down to make the screen larger. 
Let's just say that long term we feel bullish about Amgen, even though we don't think it'll get to our 245 October 15th call strike price. But by January, we expect it to take off, so we just want to buy a January 21st 275 call option. Now I will select either day or good till canceled, and we'll select day, and we'll make our limit credit price or cash in our pocket a little bit higher here. If everything looks good, then just hit transmit. If you'd like to receive alerts as soon as we make option trades similar to the trades I mentioned in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see exactly how we go about rolling put and call options with real life examples in our Disney position, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled, How Do You Manage an Option Position? Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.